Aloha, dober dan. In this video, you will learn one bonding habit that will forever change any of your relationships, make them better, change things in a magical, wonderful way. Ready? Hi, I'm Helena Summer, master love coach and relationship expert, helping powerful people create powerful love. And most powerful people know how to have powerful fights. Now we're gonna flip this around. Here is a habit. If you do this one time, it's gonna soothe things out, guaranteed. But if you do this more than once and you continue doing this over and over, it will actually create a habit that wherever you go in your relationship, with your in-laws, with your parents, with your children, you will be able to make things better. I tell you what to do, but first I'm gonna tell you a story how I came up with that. It was a Sunday morning, we have this beautiful dog, Sharpay, and my husband said, let's go for a walk. Sunday morning, walking a dog. What shall I wear? Of course, I should wear a white gold dress with big gold high heels and the beautiful chandelier earrings. We get my hair done. And I said, this is what I'm gonna wear. This is what I'm gonna wear. This picture, that's what I wore. And I came to my husband, I opened the door and came out of the bedroom and he looked at me and he said, he made that face. Are you gonna go walk, are you gonna go walk a dog looking like that? And I said to him, let's do this again, honey. I walked backward, came back into the bedroom, collected my energy to be gracious and elegant and classy, and I walked out again. And my husband saw me and he said, wow, are you my wife? Wow, I am so lucky to have you. Wow, you look fabulous. And he lifted me up, he spin me around, he kissed me all over my face, and I was happy. And of course I realized walking a dog on Sunday morning in high heels, it's not the smartest thing to do. So I changed into yoga pants and off we went. The moral of the story is when you know that something went bad in the relationship, like, oops, he didn't notice I look pretty. He didn't notice I was just, you know, being myself. He criticized, he judged, which of course, can trigger all your wounds from the past and previous relationships and your parents and teachers criticizing. And you can come and you can say, then fine, walk by yourself. Oh, how can you say that? Oh, other, my ex appreciated me more. Oh, I should find million ways you can come up with to actually criticize your man. Or you can come up with a brilliant, clever, fun idea that you can actually use and allow and invite your partner to connect to you. This works for men, it works for women, it works every day, no matter what you do. So would you allow yourself the redo game? Would you allow yourself, let's do this again? Really, let yourself have that because only that way you will be able to reconnect to yourself and have a more solid and stable relationship. It's very simple, works like a charm, it's very quick. That's it for now. I love you very much.